Hi everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Power Pop Shakers and this is where I talk about Power Pop new releases and the odd reissue as well. If you go to my channel and click on playlists you can listen to the tracks that I mentioned today. And the first track is uh, The Lemon Twigs and What You Were Doing and this is taken from the Long Island New York Geo's fourth album called Everything Harmony. Their influences come from classic pop from the 60s and 70s and the magic lies in the brotherly vocals, uh, harmony vocals of the Daddario brothers. Uh, at times the songs on this album are quite folky and melancholy but the track I've uploaded is a real power pop gem. Uh, sounds very much like a, a guitar pop classic from the 70s. If they'd managed to put together an album of similar tracks I'd be classing this as a potential album of the year. Uh, but it's uh, quite a lot of variety on the album and I think it's going to take uh, quite a few listens to really get into. Next up it's the Lottery Winners and I've uploaded the track Worry. Uh, there was a frankly mad campaign to try and get them to number one in the album charts with their latest album Anxiety Replacement Therapy. They released more than 20 versions of the album and uh, it succeeded, it did get to number one. Uh, guest musicians on the album include Boy George, Sean Ryder and Frank Turner. Uh, this is glorious UK commercial pop. The kind you haven't really heard since the 80s and 90s. And uh, frontman Tom Rylance is uh, developing into quite an impressive songwriter. And the next track I've uploaded to the Power Pop Shakers playlist is by the Cocktail Slippers. And it's called In The City. And it's taken from a big beat CD compilation called She's Got The Power, Female Power Pop, Punk and Garage. Uh, it's got some well-known names on this uh, comp, such as Blondie, The Go-Go's, Shona Knife. But as always, it's the more obscure acts where the uh, real interest lies. Um, this was recorded for, or the Cocktail Slippers track rather, was recorded for Wicked Cool about 15 years ago. And it's a real sort of fun, uh, girl-fronted uh, power pop sound. Next up, I've uploaded uh, the track Gotta Be Near You by Arrows. They're remembered fondly by me for their uh, mid-70s uh, children's television show on ITV. And uh, they were marketed at the time as a, as a teeny bop act. But they had some serious musicianship in the band. And very much, I thought, in the power pop style of Badfinger. Uh, sadly, all three members died relatively young. And Cherry Red has put together a compilation, a two-CD set called The Complete Collection and it helps stake their claim as being one of the power pop greats of the 70s. We come to the Masonics and the track Somebody Stole the Heat From My Fire and it's from the vinyl album Outside Looking In on Spin Out Nuggets. Uh, there are three pieces including Mickey Hampshire and Bruce Brand who were in the Milkshakes for a good number of years. The album is a reissue of a CD only release that came out on Vinyl Japan in 2004. As always on Spin Out Nuggets, there aren't that many being pressed, so if you want a copy, you're going to have to uh, be fairly quick about it. Next up, I've uploaded the tracks uh, Don't Wanna Die by Superstar and Window by Joe McCallendon. Um, Superstar were a 90s band that started their career on Creation Records. Uh, by the time of their second album, they'd moved on to a major label. And uh, Don't Wanna Die uh, includes Alex Chilton on guitar. Um, I put that track on just to show you the long career that Joe McCallendon has had. Uh, he's still around and he's writing melodic and melancholy songs, which really should be gracing the charts. And he has an album coming out soon called Where the Clouds Go Swimming. I think it's due out in the middle of July on the STHQ label. And he also appears in the latest issue of Mojo magazine. And there's the article that's in uh, Mojo magazine. Okay, moving on, we come to The Hives and the track Bogus Operandi. And uh, this is uh, off their sixth album, The Death of Randy Fitzsimmons, which is out on the 11th of August this year. And it's their first album in 11 years, although they have been issuing uh, odd tracks over the years. It's their usual high energy performance. And they're also touring uh, very shortly with Arctic Monkeys, which should help raise their profile for those people that have forgotten about them. And next we've got the Lemonheads and Into Your Arms acoustic version 
and this comes from Come On Feel the Lemonheads 30th Anniversary Edition which is available on 2 CD and 2 LP and it comes with a, a second disc made up of demos, acoustic versions, uh, sessions and comp appearances. Uh, I always preferred It's a Shame About Ray but it's uh, nice to see all these various tracks which at the time came out on, on various singles uh, being gathered together on one album. The next track I've uploaded to the Power Pop Shakers playlist is by The Master Plan and it's called Feels Good to Feel. Uh, the Master Plan were coming together of Andy Chernoff, the songwriter from The Dictators, and Keith Streng and Bill Milheiser uh, from The Flesh Tones. Uh, this is a track that was recorded in 2010 and it's going to be included on a CD on Rumbar called A Grand Crew which is out in late June 2023. Lead vocalist on this track is uh, David Faulkner from the Hoodoo Gurus and it's pretty much uh, guitar pop perfection. Next I've uploaded Time and Again by Tough Age. This was a name new to me but uh, having checked on Bandcamp I realised they've been around for quite a few years and uh, this track is taken from their sixth album Waiting Here which uh, is on the Bobo Integral label. They're based in Vancouver, British Columbia. I was attracted by the guitars, the sort of jangling 12 string and very rhythmic feel of this track in particular. And moving on we come to Plastic act and see it in time and this is a seven inch single there's only 100 copies and it's on brain gum uh, they're another canadian band this time from montreal in quebec an appealing 1970s garage punk sound um, they'd fit in nicely alongside uh, a comp made up of um, some early saints dictators the rings uh, slow deaf era flaming groovies uh, they're actually a one-man band started by Private Lives bassist Josh Herlihy and there's some excellent guitar work at play here. Uh, next up it's Silver Car Crash and the track Pleasure Zone and it's from the LP Shattered Shine which is due out in mid-June and it will be their second album and they're a four-piece from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, the ringing guitars give it a bit of a sonic youth uh, sound, I think, very 90s sonic youth. And there's some uh, really good emotive vocals as well. And uh, also on the Power Pop Shakers playlist, you'll find Let Your Hair Down by the On and Ons. And it's the title track from their fifth album, which is uh, out on CD on Citadel. Uh, and it's in the great tradition of 80s uh, Australian garage pop bands. In fact, bassist... Clyde Bramley was in the Hoodoo Gurus, uh, which was enough really to uh, attract my attention. Uh, as I record this video, uh, Steve Van Zant has the title track as his coolest song in the world on his uh, Little Steven's Underground Garage show. And next we've got uh, Paper Nut Cambridge, and I've uploaded two tracks by them uh, Trip to America and End of the Downs. They're a band led by Ian Button, who uh, a few years ago played with uh, Thrashing Doves and also Deaf in Vegas. Uh, the LP CD uh, Channel Suite is out on Gare du Nord Records, the label run by Ian Button. Uh, if you are impressed by Kieran, Phelan and Peace Signs, uh, also on the Gare du Nord label, and also love, say, uh, The Cleaners from Venus, uh, Steve Rinaldi, uh, Top Taylor, Divine Comedy, I think you'll probably be quite impressed by this album. He's a very talented musician and producer, and uh, the band also includes uh, Darren Heyman on electric piano. And Darren Heyman is, is another English singer-songwriter uh, who's gone under the radar over the years and should really be a household name. Okay, and that's it for this episode, and I'll see you again very soon.